Welcome to the Old Time Radio Westerns. I'm your host, Andrew Rines, and let's get into this episode. This episode is going to be the Lone Ranger. Original air date is April 11th, 1945, and the title is San Carlo Banker. Hope you enjoy, and again, thanks for listening. His faithful Indian companion, Tonto, the masked rider of the plains, led the fight for law and order in the early western United States. The stories of his strength and courage, his daring and resourcefulness have come down to us through the generations. And nowhere in the pages of history can one find a greater champion of justice. Return with us now to those thrilling days of yesteryear. From out of the past and the thundering hoofbeats of the great horse, Silver, the Lone Ranger rides again. Come on, Silver! Let's go, big fellow! I am Silver! Darkness had overtaken the Lone Ranger on his way to meet Dan Reed and Tonto in camp near San Carlo. As he entered the woods, he saw the glimmer of a campfire. Though he thought it strange that the camp was so near instead of at the far side of the woods, the masked man rode into the firelit clearing. Oh, Silver, oh boy. He's a steady big fellow. Wonder where they are, Silver. Hello. My name ain't Tonto. I, oh. There we are, and don't move. You're covered. Well, uh, why don't you come out and show yourself? I got no objections. Me and the boys just got back out of sight till we seen who was coming. Moose Murdoch. You seem to know me. Yes. Last time I saw you, you were on the way to jail. Five years ago, wasn't it? Don't make no fast move, mister. You're covered. Did you escape? I've done my stretch. Five years. You deserved hanging. Come on, boys. You can come out of hiding. Hey, who's the mask man, Moose? Who's your friend? Yeah, why the mask? I don't know who he is, boys. Uh, take that mask off, stranger. What do you want here? I'm looking for friends. They seem to have their own camp. I said to take off that mask. Well, thanks for the invitation. Sorry I can't stay to learn more about you. Huh? You ain't going no place. Not to a moose set. No. Oh, oh, look on. Shove me. Get out of the way. Uh, get him. Quiet. Uh, Shove me, will you? Oh. I'll show you. Anyone else going for a gun? He got me. Easy, fella. Steady, Silver. Hey, wait a minute. I want to talk to you. We meet again, Moose. Listen, I can use a man as fast as you. Who are you? Where are you going? <laughs> I've already told you. I'm on the way to join friends in camp. Come on, Silver. Silver. 
Whoa, oh, oh, steady, easy. Hi, Kimosabe. I'm me glad to see you. Golly, you're late. We expected you sooner. Steady, come on. Uh, well, I, uh, I was delayed, Dan. I'll take care of Silver. And you have trouble? Tonto, you remember a crook named Moose Murdoch? Ah. Tonto you to- see him? Tonto told me about Murdoch. We saw him in San Carlo. You did? Ah, him in town. Looked like him trying to get a new gang. He already has a new gang. He was alone when we saw him. He and his gang are camped in this woods. Oh, he make plenty of trouble. He may be planning something in San Carlo. Oh, just a minute, Dan. I was going down Saddle Silver. Oh, wait. I may ride out again. Oh? What was Murdoch doing in San Carlo? Uh, him talk to gambler. To whom? A fellow named Ace Farnham. Ace Farnham? Yes, he owns a cafe. Him gambler. Got plenty game in cafe. <laughs> Wonder why Murdoch talked to Ace Farnham. They had their heads mighty close together for some time. I see. Uh, wait here. Uh, you go? Yes. I want to talk to Ace Farnham, said the big fella. Come on, Silver! In the town of San Carlo, Ace Farnham sat on a bench in front of his gambling hall talking to the richest man in the community. Your job is cattle, you see, Thorndyke. You know all there is to know about cattle, but you can't be expected to know about the banking business. That's true. I say every man to his line. All I know about banking is that I put my cash in the bank until I need it, and I draw it out. Mm-hmm. It's all right for a man who has only a few hundred dollars. What do you mean, Farnham? Thorndyke, I know all about banks. Anything that has to do with money is right in my line. I guess you know that. Sure. Well, I don't like to say anything against Banker Sherman. Farnham, but, uh, do you know anything against him? Well, I don't keep my cash in this bank. You have to use yours. You've got to be ready to pay off the winners in your games. Oh, I've got a plenty of extra cash. But it's where the banker can't get it to lend out to people. And where crooks ain't so likely to find it. You mean to say the banker lends my money? Sure he does. And if I wanted to draw it out of the bank, I couldn't get it? Thorndike, I'll bet two to one. That the banker couldn't lay his hands on cash enough to pay out what people are trusted to him. Ah. And another thing. Let's say the people come into San Carlo. Now, if they want food, they go where the sign says eats. If they want liquor, they come here where my sign is. But if they're crooks, looking for a place to rob... The bank. Why, sure. The sign on the bank might just as well say, here's cash money. My thunder. Farnham, you've given me something to think about. There goes the banker now. Just going home to his supper. Ah, I see him. Farnham, I've got to think things over. That evening, Banker Sherman sat in his home with his wife. His face marked with lines of worry. Ben, what's worrying you? You haven't said a word since supper. I'm thinking, Kate... Just thinking, that's all. Ben Sherman was the man who brought the bank to San Carlo. It was he who had taught the citizens to save instead of throwing their cash away in Farnham's gambling palace. For this, Ace Farnham hated him. Has Farnham finally found a way to make trouble for you, Ben? Kate, I think he has. Shucks, he's been trying for the past three years to get rid of you and your bank... There's nothing he can do. I'm not so sure of that. Why? In my business, a man has to be a good judge of people. He has to have a pretty fair idea of what's going on in their minds. Yes, but... Well, Ace Farnham had a look in his eye when he spoke to me today. A uh, smug sort of look. Smug? That's right. Sort of gloating over something. I could just see the buzzard. Thinking that he'd finally hit on the way to put me out of business. Oh, Ben, there's nothing he can do. He's tried everything. He's up to something, Kate. I know he is. Oh. Uh, Sounds like we've got company. Sit still, Ben. I'll see who it is. I ain't much in the mood for company. What? It's Mr. Thorndyke. Evening, Kate. Mind if I step in for a minute? Oh, come in. Do come in. Hello, Sherman. Howdy, Thorndyke. Ben's feeling low. Maybe you can lift his spirits a mite. I'm afraid his spirits won't be helped by this call. Sit down, Thorndyke. Yes, sit yourself right down here. Now, get right to the point. Sherman, I've been putting a sizable amount of cash into your bank. Yes, you sure have. You're the biggest depositor we've got. 
Uh, how much have I banked with you? Well, I don't know offhand. I'll have to look it up in the books at the bank. First thing in the morning? Why, well, sure, if you want me to. I'd appreciate it. You figure out how much I got in your bank with the interest. I'll be around to draw it out. Draw it out? You mean, mean all of it? Every dime. Oh, you leaving here? Nope. Maybe he's going to buy more land or more livestock. I ain't going to buy anything. I want my cash, that's all. I want to hide it where I know it'll be safe. Safe? Why, Thorndyke, the bank's the safest place there is. You've seen how strong that iron vault is. No one could bust that open. Well, maybe you're right. The bank could burn right down to the ground and your money would be safe. You went through all that when you started the bank. Besides, if you draw your cash out, you won't get any more interest on it. I never savvy that interest thing, anyhow. I don't savvy banking. All I know is that I decide to get my cash. Do I get it, Sherman? A gun. You needn't draw that, Thorndyke. I was told I might have trouble with you. I don't know who told you that, but there won't be any trouble. If you want your cash, you'll get it. First thing in the morning. I'll be on hand. Oh, um, Thorndyke, let me ask you something. Did Ace Farnham have anything to do with this decision of yours? I make my own decision, Sherman. I'll be around in the morning. Be sure my cash is ready. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening to you, Kate. Good evening. By the way, Thorndyke. Well? You might tell Ace Farnham what you're doing. It'll make him feel mighty good. We gave you an argument, huh, Thorndyke? He sure did. Ace, I've got a hunch you were right about our money not being safe in Sherman's bank. Of course I'm right. If crooks come a-looking for cash, where'll they go? They'll go where they know there's cash, won't they? Putting it in the banks just like telling thieves where to look for it. I never thought of it that way. Step back to my office, Thorndyke. We can talk better in there. This banking business never made sense to me anyhow. I'd be glad to have my money back in my own hands. Man, I sure hope you get it. Step right in. I got some special wine. Thanks. I... Hey, who? I'm right in. Close the door. You think Ready? that you Don't shout and keep your hands high. Mask. Close the door. Oh, that's better. You came in that window. I knew you'd come into this office sooner or later. I've been waiting for you. Sitting at my desk. You got your nerve. Now, look. If this is a personal now, matter, I... where you are. What do you want? What's Moose Murdoch planning? What's who? Who's he? Farnham knows him. Don't you, Farnham? I don't know who you're talking about. Moose Murdoch is a man you talked to a few hours ago. He's a crook and a clever one. He just finished a term in prison in Albemarle. He wouldn't have come to San Carlo unless he'd been sent for. Farnham, what are you and Moose Murdoch planning? So, that's it, huh? Banker Sherman didn't waste time, did he? Sherman? Yeah. <laughs> You savvy to play, Thorndyke? No, I don't. You told Sherman you wanted all your cash from the bank the first thing in the morning. So Sherman sends this credit to make us think there's a dangerous thief named Murdoch nearby. So that's the scheme. Don't you see? They're trying to make you think it'll be dangerous for you to have all your cash hidden at your house. Hold on. Are you Grant Thorndyke? I am. And you're drawing all your cash from Sherman's bank? You bet I am. Thorndyke, you're the biggest rancher around here. You're no fool. You bet I ain't. Why are you drawing your cash? Did Farnham suggest that the bank wasn't a safe place? Sherman sure must be desperate to send a masked man here, huh, Thorndyke? Maybe he ain't got the cash to pay you. Thorndyke, listen to me. Farnham and Murdoch had their heads together. If Farnham can persuade wealthy men to draw their money from the bank, Murdoch will have an easier time stealing it. <laughs> a likely story. I don't know of anyone named Murdoch. Find out about him. If you're so eager to protect us, why don't you bring him in? The sheriff will take care of him. He can't be arrested without cause. Oh, 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 there ain't no such critter. I believe you, Farnham. Murdoch Save is your a... breath. Tell Sherman his trick didn't work. Now, wait till the boys hear this trick. They'll all draw their cash from the bank. I'll make sure they do. Oh, I'll be back. Don't hurry, mister. I'm going to tell everyone in town about this. Come on, Thorndyke. We'll tell them. Now, boys. All of you, listen to me. Boys, listen to what thorndyke got to say. Boys. I let Banker Sherman know I aim to draw my cash out. He just tried a stunt that convinces me that he can't meet what he owes us. What are you talking about? When he learns that his trick failed, he may try to run out of it. 
All of you that have cash in the bank had better get it out first thing in the morning. I got cash there. I got $100. Why well, was I was again banking from the start. I'll get my money and know the reason why. Now, boys, listen to me. We better make sure Ben Sherman don't run out on us. Who go with me to guard his house? All right, All right come on. The curtain falls on the first act of our Lone Ranger story. Before the next exciting scenes, please permit us to pause for just a few moments. Now to continue our story. Most of the men in East Farnham's cafe had money in Ben Sherman's bank. They started toward the banker's house to make sure he didn't flee to avoid payment. Come on, boys. We'll surround his house. Come on. Come, Silver. Meanwhile, the Lone Ranger dashed toward Sherman's house ahead of the mob. The masked man knew that in seeking information about Moose Murdoch, he'd created a difficult situation. Moose on the whole wide hole. Easy to be As he reined up, the Lone Ranger heard the distant mob. He didn't pause to rap on the door. Uh, what's this? A mess. Please listen to me. Time is short. Where's my gun? No, no, Ben. He'll kill you. you think Sherman, you... I'm here to help you. Help us? You? Or maybe you run on your bank. What? Oh, that's Ace Farnham's work. Men are on the way to make sure you don't run out before the bank opens. Who are you? Let me give you the essential facts. There's little time. But who are you? There's a crook named Murdoch in this vicinity. He and Farnham are planning something crooked. Planning to bust my bank. I went to Farnham to question him about Murdoch. Grant Thorndike was with Farnham at the time. Thorndike? I knew Farnham influenced him. Thorndike wouldn't believe me when I spoke of Murdoch. Farnham denied it. Thorndike wouldn't believe you, huh? No. Thorndike thought you'd sent me to warn them about a gang working in this vicinity. Thought I'd sent you. He thought it was a trick to frighten him into leaving his cash in your bank. Of all the crazy ideas. The fact that you'd try a trick like that convinced him that you couldn't meet your obligations. I didn't try any tricks. Thorndike thinks you did. That's why there'll be a run on the bank. Uh, Of all the fool notions. I can prove you didn't send me. Prove I told the truth. If I bring Moose Murdoch into town, Grant Thorndike's a fair man. If he learns that Farnham lied about meeting Murdoch, he'll change his views. I hear something. Sounds like a mob. Talk to them, Sherman. Tell them you'll pay them when the bank opens in the morning. But I, I... Meanwhile, I'll try to find Murdoch and bring him here to make Farnham admit he lied. Now go on. Oh, Ben. Talk to them, Sherman. We'll meet again. Let go the last man. Hey, you stop. Hold on there. Hold hey. on there. He got away, Kate. Hey, ben, I trust that mask, man. Ben Sherman, we want to go business with you. Hold on. All of you, calm down. Listen to me. And listen to me. Quiet down. Let Sherman speak. Quiet. You know why we're here, Sherman? The man that just rode away from here told me you want to draw your money from the bank. It'll go hard with you if you ain't got it. The cash is in the bank, and the bank opens at 9 in the morning. If anyone wants to draw his cash so as the crooks can steal it or Farnham can take it, he's free to do so. Meanwhile, don't try to run out. We'll be watching you. Watch all you please. Well, that was big talk, Kate, but I can't back it up. I know it, Ben. You, you can't meet all the demands until you've had time to call in loans and foreclose mortgages. I won't and... have time to do that, Kate. These boys will want their cash. If I don't have it, they'll treat me like a crook. They, they lynched the last crook. I... Yes, there's not much to do but count on the help the mask man promised. Leaving the town behind him, the Lone Ranger dashed across a strip of open country to the woods where Dan and Tonto were waiting in camp. Oh, Silver, oh, 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 easy. You come plenty fast, Kimosabe. Is someone after you? Very big fella. No, Dan. Uh, what wrong? I've got to go back to Murdoch's camp. Now? Right now. Saddle up, Tonto. We've got to capture Murdoch. Ah, uh, get saddled, Dan. He gets gone. Right. Does the law want Murdoch? No, not yet. Steady there, Silver. I'll take up the cinch a little. Uh, you got saddle, Dan? Here it is. Uh, here. Let me throw saddle. No, I can do it. I'll cinch up, Scout. Should I saddle Victor? Not now, Dan. Uh, what we do with Murdoch? We've got to take him to Grant Thorndike. 
I've got to convince Thorndyke that Ace Farnham and Moose Murdoch had their heads together. <laughs> See? There. Then, you stay here and watch the camp. You said that Murdoch had at least two men with him. That's right. Then, hadn't I better go with you? Well, uh, we need someone to watch the camp, then. Tonto and I'll try to take Murdoch by surprise. Steady, Silver. All right. I'll wait here. You know where to find Murdoch camp in dark? He had a fire when I was there, Tonto. I think I can find it even though the fire has been put out. You ready? Uh, you ready? Get him up. Come on, Silver. As the Lone Ranger and Tonto neared the site of Murdoch's camp, they reined up and dismounted. Leave the horses here, Tonto. Uh, we'll go the rest of the way on foot. Uh. Only the faint glow of dying embers remained of Murdoch's campfire. But these were sufficient to mark the place for the masked man and the Indian. The troop crept forward cautiously, making no sound on the leafy carpet of the woods. They reached the camp to learn that there was no need for caution. They've gone. brief inspection confirmed the fact that Moose Murdoch and his men had abandoned the camp. Well, that's that. I can't tell them at night, Tonto. That's right. Maybe find tracks at daybreak. If we don't find Murdoch before that bank opens, Ben Sherman is likely to be smashed. Ben Sherman opened his bank at nine in the morning without having seen the masked man. Grant Thorndyke was the first to draw his savings. Pocketing the money, he drew a gun and stepped back of the counter with Sherman and Kate. Stay right in line, boys. I'll see that you all get paid off. I got $200 coming. Well, fill out this slip and sign your name. The rest of you can be filling in slips. You lawmen over there, see that the boys stay in line. Well, 200 There you are. Next. Here's my slip. I got 400 with you, Sherman. Sherman's worry increased as he saw the cash on hand running low while there were still many unpaid depositors. Well, there's yours, Hank. I hope you've got more cash somewhere, Sherman. I... I haven't. What? This is all there is left, Thorndike. So you can't pay us off. I'll wait. Ain't we going to get paid? Wait a minute. Listen. Listen, boys. Let me explain. You'd better talk fast. None of you understand the banking business. Wait, wait. Listen to me. You'll all get your money if you'll wait. I've loaned some of it out. I've taken mortgages on property for it. You've got to wait till I get that cash in before I pay you. You always said we'd get our cash when we came for it. Yes, I know, but... All right, all right. Thorndike, you don't understand the banking business. None of you do. Ace Farnham knows banking. He told about you. He said you couldn't pay off. We ought to lynch the crook. Oh, no, no. This is just what I expected after that trick you tried last evening. He didn't try any trick. I swear I didn't. You sent that masked man to tell lies. No, no, I you didn't. You tried to scare me into leaving my cash here. Drag him from back of that no, 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 boys, please, listen to me. I'll pay off. No, please, okay. please. Those inside the bank didn't see the white horse that charged up to the door carrying a masked man and a hard-faced prisoner. Suddenly, those nearest the door were startled by a ringing shout. Let us through there! They fell back when the masked man's guns froze everyone to attention. Get in there, Murdoch. I want Thorndike to see you. It's the masked man. Yes, he's come. You! Here's the crook I told you about. Thorndike, that proves the masked man told you the truth. I didn't try no trick. Whether you try to trick or not, you can't pay. Listen to me. Get this masked man. He can't do this to me. Tell the truth, Murdoch. Tell these people you were with Ace Farnham yesterday. I'll tell the truth, all right. I was just riding along, riding my own business when you and your engine pal captured me and dug me here. Tell the truth about yesterday. Tell what you and Ace Farnham discussed. I don't know Ace Farnham. I never saw him. I was never inside his place. What? So? That's not true. Thorndike, he was with Farnham. Your local sheriff can tell you that this man has always been a sneak thief. 
You can find people who saw him with Farnham. That ain't so. Now, let me go. Let me out of here. I... Stranger. Let go of me. It looks to me like we better string you up alongside Ben Sherman. Hey, I... where's Moose Murdoch? Hey, hey where's Farnham. Uh, I heard that masked man had Murdoch here. Let me go. Not so fast, Murdoch. So there you are, you sneaking buzzard. No, wait. There. Wait for wait. what? Hold on, Farnham. You admit talking to this man? All right, Thorndike, I admit it. Dirty sneak thief came to my place, looked around so as he could bust in last night and steal my cash. This man robbed you? Yes. No way, it's not. Oh, wait, yeah, wait. Let me see what's in that pocket. Oh, wait, quit it. Go ahead, Farnham. I'm holding him. Yeah, yeah, my money. Just as he took it from my place. Don't deny it, Murdoch, the cook saw you. Thought you'd get out of town, huh? Farnham, this, uh, this masked man did tell the truth? All right, all right, what of it? Murdoch was suggesting ways that I might get at the banker so as the boys would have more cash to spend in my cafe. How'd I know Murdoch was figuring to sneak thief the cash? How'd I know he figured to steal my own cash? Here, Sherman, put my money in your safe. What? what? Farnham, you, you mean that? You heard me. But Farnham, you yourself said the banker wasn't on the level. I've said a lot of things in my day. But he can't pay off. He's... What do you know about the banking business, Thorndike? Well... Just what you told me. You stick to ranch and let Sherman stick to bank. Me, I'll stick to my cafe. Well, Sherman, if Farnham says it's all right and he knows what the banking business is, yeah, put my cash back in the bank. Yeah, put mine back too. Now, 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 now hold on there. Get in line. Line up with your cash, boys. Here, you can be filling out these slips while you're waiting. Hey, where's the mask, man? I owe him something. He's the one that made yeah. it possible. You don't owe me anything, Farnham. Well, I would have got away if you hadn't been chasing him. Bringing him back wouldn't have helped Ben Sherman if you hadn't been robbed and been man enough to admit a mistake. Well, adios. Oh, now, wait, wait. Wait a minute, boys. Hold your cash a minute. Stop that masked man. We all owe him something. Come on, Silver. Huh. Stop him, I said. Come on, Silver. have just heard is a copyrighted feature of the Lone Ranger Incorporated. This has been a presentation of otrwesterns.com and we hope you enjoyed. Please take some time to like and rate our shows in your favorite podcast application. Follow us on Facebook by going to otrwesterns.com slash Facebook. Subscribe to our YouTube channel by going to otrwesterns.com slash YouTube. And send us an email, podcast at otrwesterns.com. You can call and leave us a voicemail, 707-986-8739. This episode is copyright under the attribution non-commercial share-like copyright. 
For more information, go to otrwesterns.com slash copyright. Have a great day, and thanks for listening.